All right, you guys, so we are going to go ahead and dive again back into the digital model, but this time we are going to get a little bit more specific to, to really try to look a little bit at where are these energy storage molecules coming from um, in terms of how are they getting into the producers if they aren't being input into them. So if you have access to the digital model, you can go ahead and start kind of looking into that, collecting some evidence. If not, you can go ahead and follow along with me. So remember our focus question here at this time is to look at where are these energy storage molecules um, coming from in terms of how are they getting into these producers if there is no input, right? Everywhere else we see that the energy storage molecules are coming in. So I think I'm going to go ahead and look inside uh, to see maybe what is happening in the producers. So here we are inside a producer cell and I see some of these energy storage molecules just in there, but this still doesn't really tell me where they're coming from. It does look like that carbon dioxide that's coming in, interesting, let's zoom in a little. I see the carbon dioxide is coming from the outside of the cell and there is an energy storage molecule that's appearing. So let's watch again. I see things coming in, in and huh. So it seems like the energy storage molecules actually are being made in the producers here. I see it appearing. I'm not sure what's going on. It's all of that stuff is kind of coming together and then poof, it's appearing. But inside the producers, that energy storage molecule is coming from this thing called a chloroplast inside the cell. So we just took a look at the digital model to try and understand a little bit more about where these energy storage molecules were coming from. And when we zoomed into the producers, it seems like they are actually making the energy storage molecules uh, themselves. We saw inside of their cells, carbon dioxide, the thing that was being input into the producers, was coming in to this thing called a chloroplast. And then the chloroplast, and it looks like what was water, um, the carbon dioxide and the water came together, and then there was kind of a poof, and the energy storage molecule actually appeared in that chloroplast and then went out uh, into the, the producer. So that's something that we really want to, to look a little bit more into. What are these chloroplasts? What is going on when these things come together? And that's where we're gonna pick up next time. I look forward to hearing about what questions you have after taking a look inside these producers in the digital model. See you next time.